Does Google Now, Siri, or Cortana really help uh, you guys stay safe while driving out there on the roads? What's going on guys? My name is Ben and how are you guys doing today? What I want to talk to you guys about these voice assistants that these companies are coming out, uh, are implementing into cars. Alright, so Apple has Siri, Microsoft has Cortana, and then Google has Google Now for Android devices. Now, there's an article that I've read recently that these are the three main voice assistants that are actually not safe for drivers out there. I mean, we've seen voice assistants being integrated into cars like Honda, uh, Nissan, uh, G uh, Chevy's, GMC, Cadillac. Uh, I mean, uh, there are um, vehicles coming out these days. They're going to have integrated voice assistants in there, uh, which is basically like a voice command that you use, so that way you don't have to take your eyes off the road and then um, push a button and now, with smartphones, these voice assistants by Apple, Google, and Microsoft are trying to make it easier so that way people don't take their eyes off the road and then send a text message from their phone and try to play a music. But here's the thing. These are the three main assistants that actually makes it more distracting for drivers out there. And the lowest one between the three was Google. Now second was Siri by Apple and then you have Cortana which apparently was a lot worse I mean link to the article will be in the description below I mean check the ratings out there and they even compared it to you know, like a lot of some of the car manufacturers out there and do I agree with this I mean of course I do because guess what even with the voice assistants inside the car you know, themselves aren't even making it safe you know, for drivers out there because yes you're concentrating on the road but then you're also trying to concentrate on what you're trying to say and you know what the voice assistants that are integrated in cars to me aren't even that great why because they're the way they recognize uh, the voice of a human being is not very natural so let's say if you were to uh, speak out a phone number and the voice assistant repeats the phone number but then you notice that it misheard you and then it produces the wrong digit then you have to start over then it does it again and then you it's basically a repeated process until it finally gets it right and you have to say within a certain speed just so it'll pick it up and to me I don't find it very convenient that's why I actually don't prefer these kind of voice assistant features to be integrated into cars I mean the way I would like a car when I do get one is I like I like it to be pretty much basic. You know, I want to go back uh, to like the early 2000s where like for me, I'd rather not have a screen in there. Uh, I mean, the only time I want the screen is if, if I really need a navigation. But for me to have navigation, I don't need that all the time right there every day I'm, when I'm driving in my hometown. I would only use that for like if I'm going on long trips and you know, long distance rides. So I would rather just mount a portable GPS onto my windshield and then just take it off when I don't need it anymore. And then, you know, because me personally, I think the look of the dash looks better with just the radio controls. But then again, that's just a personal preference. However, the only time you know, I would really hate the navigation systems. Uh, especially is if they pretty much control everything. That's where you're doing all your controls, meaning like, okay, your fan speed, your air conditioning. Uh, I mean, I like it when you have to push actual buttons to adjust the uh, fan speed, the air conditioning, the temperature, uh, either pushing a button or rotating the dial. I mean, I prefer buttons, obviously, uh, but I mean, I can go about our way. I just don't like all that to be integrated into uh, a uh, functional touchscreen, uh, and guess what? Sometimes some of the systems that are being implemented in cars these days aren't even that great, especially when they're just first rolling uh, out into cars. Because I mean, these manufacturers aren't sure on how they're going to take off and how people are going to use them, and how it's going to affect people's lives. I mean, yes, it stops them from getting him lost out there while driving, but you know what, if you have to use that screen for another thing, it can become a little bit frustrating. 
Uh, I mean, I've been into a car where if I wanted to adjust the fan speed, I have to use the touchscreen, and I hated it because I can't feel uh, where my hand's touching, so I pretty much have to adjust it before uh, I even start driving. And I understand that that's the way it should be, but then again, you don't want to be suffocating while driving at the same time. And if you are going to do it while operating a, ve a vehicle, you just it should be a quick push. It's not like, okay, you have to push this button and then push the next one, that, and then touch it. And then sometimes you know, your hand accidentally gets moved around on the screen, to the other side of the screen. Therefore, you push the wrong button. I mean, again, this is just personal preference. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. So it's pretty much like it depends on what you want and what you need. And as far as these voice assistants, features are concerned or voice command features in general for vehicles I don't think we should have them at all but then again some people find it convenient me personally I don't find it very convenient at all I mean yes they're getting improved uh, throughout the years but sometimes these systems just uh, decides to uh, you know get hiccups uh, meaning like they started uh, coming up with issues and then I mean, I had a system freeze one time while I was driving, and the only way to get it back and up and running is if I turn off the car and then turn it back on. And maybe I could have had that checked out uh, with the shop, but I mean, for something like that, I don't know. The problem is, is like, cars these days are becoming more computerized, and the way I see it, the more I look at new cars, while they're nice and stylish and uh, all that, sometimes... I just like to get an older car, but then again, when you buy a used car, you're pretty much buying somebody else's problems unless you really have the luck in finding a very good used car. I don't know. All I can say is like, even with these voice command features, I would not even dare to use it uh, during while operating a motor vehicle. And I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Uh, me personally, I would st stay off of it if I can. The only thing that uh, I would need in the car with this kind of feature is Bluetooth. That's it. Because I just need something that will let me answer a phone call and then um, hang up the phone call if I need it to. Other than that, I don't have to be like, okay, push this button, air conditioner off. Okay, air conditioner off push this button, air conditioner on, push this button, navigation system, hill off, okay. Pretty much I would just need it for phone calls, that's it. And that's where Bluetooth comes in handy. Alright, so thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, comment, also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter and Instagram, and leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this, like, if you guys still feel like these voice assistants are very helpful, or if they're more distracting, like Triple A said in the article. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care.